Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whenever you're looking at the show, family, whenever you're looking at the show. And I apologize if y'all hear Jaden, my, um, my, my um, grandson, okay, my grandbaby. If y'all hear him barking in the background, somebody's over our house that he don't really get down with. And this, this, that, and the third. So I got my door closed in my taping room, but his voice is so uh, loud, it may still come through. But I know I was having some problems with my speaker tone or whatever. So put a one in the comment section when you get ready to comment on the video that you can hear it clearly. If it's not still where it needs to be where it usually is put a two that means i still got to work on it i don't know what the hell is going on okay all right but we're gonna tweak it tweak it until we can get it back situated and right Jenny Hodge. <clears throat> now one thing's for certain and two things for sure i don't know what the hell is going on with candy i don't know what's going on with candy i don't know if she's just trying to protect her bag and she don't want to come off kind of ill and, and distraught and ratchet on this real housewives of Atlanta show i don't know what it is but candy you have family within your circle okay you have family within your circle to keep you straight you don't need to be sitting up here wait until it's reunion time or wait until somebody catch you out on the street and they're an interviewer like paparazzi and they want to get your take on what was said on said show girl you got to step that pussy up okay step it up and stop trying to do this outside of the show type of shit okay because when marlo called me a hoe and sheree co-signed i would have made a song out of that mess honey i when i was here now i was like uh uh-uh-uh-uh. 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 I'm a hoe. You know, I'm a hoe. Call Shore and Molotov. So, I'm a hoe. You know, I'm a hoe. But I get the bags right after the show. I'm a hoe. You know, I'm a hoe. Yes. Call Shore and Molotov. So, but I'm a hoe. You know, I'm a hoe. I get those bags right after the show. And I would have said it like that. I would have been grooving on that song. Like, okay, they called me that. Okay, let me see. We're like, what, what kind? Of, what, can we two-step to it? Can we two-step? Can we get a rock with it? Rock with it. Back with it. Back with it. Rock. You know, I would have been just thinking about everything. And you're supposed to be a writer, a producer. You know, you write songs and shit. Why you couldn't just write up something and then just go off like that on the show with Marlo? That would have been too entertaining. I would have been following up my seat. And I'm like, damn, Candy is back. But right now, Candy, you're looking kind of funky out there. You're looking kind of funky because I told you. We don't need you to be cussing folks out and getting high in your voice like it's finna crack or like you finna cry and shit. We don't need that shit off of the show. We need that shit in the show. That's why the ratings went up. See, that's why I said Kenya, Marlo, they accepted the assignment and they are coming through. Through. Hell, even Drew was trying to show out on the show. Now, Sanya, she just taking it too much. She bringing her mama in it, and I don't like that shit. You handle your own shit. You don't bring no family member in there trying to handle your shit. No, now that's who you should be watching, Candy Girl. It's the one you taking trips with. Don't even know the darn lady. All that you know, she is a four-time gold medalist. Uh, Olympian and put some respect on her name. That's what she said. That's what she said. That's what she gonna be coming saying on this uh scene on Sunday. This coming Sunday. But I will say I can't give you the RS. I can't give you the RES. I can only give you the PCT because you don't deserve all that respect. Trying to bring your mama into some shit. But anyway, that's some candy move, ain't? When I can't. When our mama just come out, 
she just come out and, and give it to us, you know. I'm like, okay, we can't have both of y'all on the show. And if we had to take a poll in, I would have Mama Joyce on the show. Because she always be down in them streets trying to say this, that, and the third. And she'd be coming through with the tea. Okay, and then she'll bring coffee, vodka, anything else you want with some chicken wings served on the side. <laughs> okay, but I was very, very, very disappointed. I'm like, how the hell is Riley going to be taking up for you and her on the uh, show with uh, Watch What's Happening Live? I said, you thought uh, Andy was your friend, but he, he ain't never did nothing to me. He ain't never did that to me. So I, I, I got to go with what I know. Well, he just did some. He put some shit in your face and pissed on you okay but see that's why i said riley and um but noel they be teaching their own damn mamas i said you ain't got to worry about riley god got riley okay but you ain't got to worry about riley because she might get that shit from block she just put andy straight set him all the way straight and said don't ask me no more fucking questions okay because i don't know you like that and even if i knew you like that my family know i shut them down when i don't want to do anything with them or, or or be around them it's my world i have to keep my world peaceful and i said that's right and you know where there's smoke there's always fire you remember we had that saying that hmm uh jeezy and um what a girl named jenny from the real or view or hell, I don't know where she was from. But anyway, I think it was the real. <coughs> we had rumors that she's going to be coming and taping. And I see, Ken, you thought you could trust Andy Cohen with Watch What's Happening Like. We already know that shit shows in the toilet. <coughs> and he's just holding on to privilege, okay? Jewish privilege or white privilege, I don't get, I, I don't care, okay? It's privilege right there. But I don't get replaced by Jenny Ma. Don't get replaced by Jenny Ma. Because your only, <clears throat> your stance can only help you in certain situations. Okay, girl? That's why we need you to come in and show up and show out on the show. Make the ratings go through the roof. I mean, you already want to be a part of a ratchet show that shows black women who are successful. Okay? And demeaning lights. They always want to make us look like a hoe, a, a, a prostitute. The same thing, ain't it? Okay, um... A, a maid or a, a, a woman just like here having babies. You know, they're still, still stereotyping our asses, okay? And can you you falling right in, in, in the midst of all of that shit. You know what I'm saying? We need you to show us and prove to us. You don't have friends on this show, can you? Why do you keep trying to make a friends on this show? You don't have friends on this show. This is your job. This is where you go to work. This is where you go and show and prove and get that big check like you've been getting. It ain't time to make, let's go around the mirror, go around. Let's go around the mirror. What do you call it? The mirror bush. I said, mirror go around. Uh, hell, I can't think of the nursery rhyme I was thinking of. <clears throat> but we cannot keep going around. The Mulberry Bush, okay, with you. We can't keep going around the merry-go-round circle with you. We can't keep come telling you shit, okay? We need you to do right. All right, now you got can't have it both ways. You are already into that sex shit, okay? The sex uh, bedroom can and this, that, and that's popping off, okay? But you're trying to throw us down our throat during each season. We don't want to see that shit, okay, can We got it good. We know it's a product you sell. You sell it very well. And for those who want to participate in it, good. But we don't need to be having these antics on the show, okay? Because most of us are old, such as myself. I ain't got time to be thinking about no sex. Because without finance, we can't get to the sexual shit. Shit. All right. So right now I'm by myself and I kind of like the lane that I'm in. But I told you, you can't trust your family, your friends or your co-workers. You can't even trust a pe preacher, teacher or even a creature. And I'm going to say creature. I'm talking about the devil. OK, so I'm like, pick your paws and uh, candy, but keep it straight. All right. Because you're looking kind of weak on this show. Once again, we always have to lean to Marlo to bring some shit out of her ass. Or we got to have Kenya come off her pedestal. And when she already told us she wanted to just sit back and relax and let the other women work. That's what she said. But then we got Sonya rounding out like a, I don't know. I did like her when I when she came on the show, but you can't be keep beating down Drew. We already know Drew is a liar. She put shit together, and, and but you know she's just a cute person. You know what I'm saying? We just we trying to mold her. We would rather keep her than your ass. Talking about you a full time gold medalist winner. Well, what the hell? You didn't win one because you got a bronze, baby. You got a bronze. We need to talk about that bronze. What were you not doing to receive that bronze? It means somebody was better than you. Now, is that not it right? Is that not right, family? Somebody was better than her. When 
when her ass got that bronze. And that's what we need to keep talking about. All right? Because you ain't all that either, Sanya. I thought you was, girl, but you proved me wrong. You're running around here trying to start fires where there is no smoke. Okay? And that's just not a good look. You're trying to use candy and Kenya for um, fame and, and more clout where you can get to more people. Because you know they know more people. Okay? You know they've been doing it right for us. The ethics and the uh, morality and, and the... Um, we call it uh the branding you know they have been doing their due diligence okay and you're just trying to foster your way in now because you know Sheree, we still with her with she by Sheree. it's still looking like some rainbow clothes or whoo some all family dollar brands and shit we but she tried you know she had kept it alive for what how many seasons i don't know 10 seasons and we still had some and we believed in them okay because we had a, a fashion show without any fashions okay that is horrific <laughs> In my Dwight voice, okay? Horrific. All right, but she she got something together. I don't know how she pulled it together, but she got it together. And we supposed to be looking at a fashion show by Sheree. She by Sheree clothing line, okay? This season of The Real Housewives of Atlanta in 14, okay? But we don't care too much about Sheree because she fucked up from the flow up, okay? She is fucked up from the flow up, okay, people? Because she's sitting out dating an ex-con, okay? or a con man or however you want to look at it but i don't care sheree you should believe more in yourself okay again you can't trust family friends and co-workers you can't trust a preacher teacher other creature that's the uh, i mean that's the devil okay you can only trust in the lord i will trust in the lord i will trust in the lord until i die yes till i die i will trust in the lord come on church now i will trust in the lord until I die. Okay, that's what we need to be doing. We need to be trusting in the Almighty Lord up above. Okay, that's what we need to be doing. And if you don't believe in the Lord, then keep your mouth closed. Because I do. Okay, I believe in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. That's me. We ain't going to negotiate them. And that's a quick way to get blocked. Okay, because I don't play. I don't play about my religion. Okay, everybody have their own religion. I don't mess with it. Whatever you serve, you serve. Okay, if you produce good fruit, you produce good fruit. All right. But I just wanted to tell Candy that stop it. You just found out about this Sanya. You didn't know about her from a hill of beans until she was being approached to come onto the show. And I don't know if y'all know or not. Sanya, or Sanya and, and Candy and their husbands, they took a Walt Disney trip together. Now, you don't know nothing about that lady. And you don't invited this lady all up in your circle. All up in your circle, okay? We all know. When shit get rough, hard times fall, you can't pretty much depend on your family. Some family members, I'm going to say. I'm going to say all family members. Because <coughs> that would be generalizing. But I'm saying some family members, some friends, and some co-workers, you can't trust them. You only got to trust you and the Lord. Okay? You and the Lord. And that, and, and in that order. Okay? <sighs> but like I said, it's just a mess. It's a mess. And when there is smoke being created, it might be fire. Because see, Kenzie, they don't got rid of all the OGs. You're the only one that's still lasting. Buy a thread. And, and probably your daughter don't want you on this shit anymore. She's like, Mama, I ain't got time for that. I'm going to be a lawyer. I'm going to be putting people in jail. Okay? I'm going to be putting people in jail. But no, I think Riley's going into the entertainment where she's trying to save the entertainers from going to jail uh, for tax evasion or stealing other kind of money some other way and not paying the taxes. I think she's doing that. Similar to what Phaedra was doing. Okay, and it's a shame that, uh, well, Pager didn't win no cases too much, did we? So, we don't want Riley to try to be mentored by her. Uh, hold on. Okay, I'm coming. Uh -huh. So, I was just, you know, uh, no, she can't, mm -mm. We, we ain't gonna worry about that, because see, Pager's trying to be on the Dubai show, way across the country, and I don't know who she think gonna uh, let her take her two kids with her. <laughs> but, you know, the follow-up probably said, fuck it, I don't care, you got more money than I do, just let me Zoom call them, okay? But that's still kind of wrong for Pager to be trying to traipse over to another country, dragging them boys, and them boys gotta get situated to learn another whole culture, and this, that, and the third, and it's all for a TV show. See, that's what I'm saying. People get the biting of the 
that apple, that forbidden fruit of the entertainment world, and they just lose their fucking minds. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, when are you stop going to be selfish, okay? It's a time for you not to be selfish when you got your kids in the primary years. Now, when they get in high school and they pretty much trying to understand what life is about, that they ain't going to get no handout, the world's going to treat them unfair, but they just got to muddle through. They got to advance through, okay? And you're giving them the proper tools to be able to navigate through the waters of the life they're going to live, okay? Because it's always temptation out there. They can do good. They can do bad. Either way, the pendulum going to uh, swing back and forth. And they got to choose their role that they're going to take, okay? Because you did this job. You raised them. And, and they're on their own, okay? In a sense. Uh, but, yeah, I like candy. How in the world are you going to let Marlo get you out of character? Where you're going to be doing interviews? Now, it's, oh, it's good. It's good that you do those interviews because we can see where you stand. But all this stuff could be fictitious. Y'all could have been behind closed doors. So, okay, who we going to uh, have a fake beef with? You know, Marlo, you come after me and I go after you and then you go after Kenya. Okay, they probably, you know, bamboozled and hoodwinked us. We don't know. We don't hope they didn't because we're going to talk about it. All right. But. At least we can see that you're trying to do something on the show versus doing something on, on interviews. You know, when you go visit with Entertainment Tonight and you go on SS, uh, Hollywood or whatever. You know what I'm saying? You, you're going to open up your mouth and try to uh, be bossed up. No, be bossed up on the show. Let these ladies eagles down, okay, where you see them at. When they come for you, if they come for you in Sears... Handle their asses and seers, okay? If they come for you in Walmart, slay them down in Walmart, okay? That's what we talking about, Cannon. We know you ain't going to put your hands on nobody because you don't want that choice. But we saying, get they, get their asses together where you see them. Where they make an infraction, you handle that there, all right? But like I said, I would have been, I'm a hoe, you know, I'm a hoe. Mm. I get those bags right out of the show. I'm a hoe, you know, I'm a hoe. I get those bags right after the show. Oh, I'm a hoe. You know I'm a hoe. Cause Ray and Marlo told you so. I'm a hoe. You know. Girl, I'll be, I, I, be making a two-step. Uh, making me a song off that shit. You remember when, um, what's his name? <clears throat> uh, Soldier Boy. Get it. Wrap it up. That with it. Well, you know, he said Superman. Oh, you know, he made a whole damn dance off of that song. Okay. That's what you should have done. Um, Candy Girl. God, no. But that's all I got for this. I ain't got no more. Hopefully the volume is straight up and y'all can hear me straight up and down, okay? Because y'all know y'all ragging my ass. Talking about, uh, what, what name? I think her name my family name was Angela Joy. And she said, speak up. I can't hear you. <laughs> I said, okay, I'm gonna fix. I'm gonna fix it, sister. I'm gonna fix it, okay. But thank y'all for telling y'all family member. Y'all can't hear me, cause you know I gotta be out loud and in charge. I gotta be telling y'all the the scoop. What's being said on them streets, all right? Cause only I can do it the way I can know how to do it, and y'all can appreciate how I do it, okay. But that's all I got. I ain't got no more, and I'll see y'all next video. Bye bye.